Hey, you nerdy gamers. I'm here to sample the much anticipated below. Let's kick off another chapter of 25 Days of Game Pass. Hey, nerds. Welcome to another chapter in our 25 Days of Game Pass, our ongoing festive series where we take a different title out of Xbox's Game Pass, take it for a spin, give you guys our quick impressions, and then ultimately rate it with a player pass. Play to keep going, or pass, eh, no thank you. Guys, today we are jumping into the much-anticipated action-adventure game affectionately titled Below. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this game, I'm not one of the few that have been waiting the six years for the development company Capybara Games to bring forth this title. Originally, it was going to be published by Microsoft. Something happened along the way, and eventually the developers themselves released the title. Now it's here. Let's see what this game is all about. I am going to start up. Uh, no, I'm going to keep the game going. All right, here we go. All right, guys. So I know virtually nothing about this. I'm kind of going in blind on this one, guys. So we're going to just see how things play out. Very curious how this plays out, guys. So I'm going to kind of sit back and just kind of enjoy the cutscenes with you. Okay guys, I looked into it a little bit and it turns out that the game is about exploration, though they say the goal is contingent upon the character's survival. That was described as a creative take on roguelike gameplay in a mysterious world, and the environments are randomly generated. Also read that the game is designed to be difficult with brutal but fair combat and permanent death. Guys, I don't know about that permanent death thing. We're gonna have to see. <clears throat> so far, this is a fairly lengthy, dramatic sequence being delivered to us via rain and clouds and water. Is that me floating way down there? Only time will tell or the length of this beautifully composed music serenading us ever closer. I'm just 
gonna put this out there. This must be for some really intense dramatic effect later down the road. Because this is quite a slow pan in. Nope. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh. That appears we are in the game world now. Floating effortlessly across the endless planescape of what seems to be an ocean. Guys, I can only fathom what depths of ominous creativity or fantasy we may yet see. Looks like we're getting there. Very soon now, guys. Very soon. Oh, oh, there's the shoreline. And there is our little adventurer. Ooh, I now have control. Alright, where to begin? I can't even imagine what direction I should take. It was, it was going to the left a little too obvious? I'm, I don't know. I see a shiny object over here. I'm going to go take a look. Okay. Well, the A button picked it up. Oh, I love how the little grass blades kind of move around the character as I walk through. That's a nice level of detail that I appreciate. Looks like there's some steps going up this way. Let's explore, guys. That is the name of the game. Well, actually, it's below, but... The theme of the game is exploration. So let's see where this takes us. Well, these stairs do appear to be quite lengthy. Almost on a scale of Lord of the Rings. Okay. Well. Well, we seem to have come to an impasse. Or a dead end of sorts. Okay, holding the A button down lets me sprint. That's good to know. I feel like there's going to be a lot of corrective moves on my part later down the road. At least I can run all the way down. That would make this a really long let's play now, wouldn't it, guys? Okay, what's over within this expanse? Nothing here. Nothing here. Let's get our feet wet. What's in the middle here? Nothing? Alright, well, the left was not the obvious choice. Let's go to the right. It's hard to tell, but am I wearing a dress or a kilt? They, there was no character creation in this, guys. We're just kind of playing with the character we've been given. Oh, there's a little encampment here. Some more shiny objects to collect, it would seem. Okay. These may prove useful at some point. Alright, we've warmed ourselves up. Fabulous. What else can we do with A? Okay, we're gonna chill here for a minute. Looks like we've got two different actions. This must... Be. Is this cancel? Well, what's the top one? We're gonna cook some food. Water, turnip, turnip, filet. Okay, looks like some sort of crafting thing. We got a shard, an arrow, and a torch. And a bow. Drop, unequip, or exit. Assign, drop, exit, or use. I don't know what this is. We do you know what some of these are? Let's see. Assign, craft, drop, or exit. Alright, well, you know what? Um, okay, I've added water. Let's add a turnip. And another turnip. And a fillet. And then I guess we press A to craft. And now we've made soup. 
Awesome, guys. On our on one of our first tasks of this adventure is we have made some soup. Well, now that we have learned that we can craft in this game, I feel the urge to explore further. Uh-oh. We've entered our first cave. Alright, guys. What have we up here? Ooh, we got some rope. Got the bow. Okay, we've got the bow equipped. Ooh, okay. Aim over. That did nothing. That also did nothing. I'm afraid to shoot any more arrows off. That also did nothing. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to bounce back outside for a minute, see if we can't figure something else out. Um, yeah, you know, I realize this is a roguelike game, which is kind of like, if you guys are familiar with similar game types, it really is one of those learn as you go, like, literally, you have to figure out everything. So, I'm not going to lie, that could prove frustrating for me <laughs> so, at certain points. So let's keep exploring. Let's see what's up this way. We kind of really didn't explore all our surroundings yet. Oh, ooh, okay. Well, we've already been to the left and the right. I guess we can go up. As opposed to below. Am I right? Let's see where this takes us. Very interesting. Oh, there's some... Yeah, there's some cool depth to this. I mean, look at that. We're gonna come up to a huge field of grass. I have no idea what's up here, so... Let's wander around for a bit. Can I jump off the edge? No. That would have been a little... A little careless of me, I suppose. Okay, so X switches between your sword and your bow. Currently the two things that are equipped. Oh, okay, so there's some stairs that go back down across the other side. Oh, see? Now, that's where we were earlier, and we wanted to get up here, so now we just we found another way over. What else could we find up here? Let's look. I wonder if I've got a stamina bar if I can just run endlessly. So far, I haven't slowed down. So, yeah, more or less, that's a good thing. There's a little pole in the middle of nowhere. Not sure if that's significant or not. Well, it's let me go quite a ways up this way. Oh, okay. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was a hole or a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Alright, what is up here? Some more plain patches of ground. Ah, what's around up here? Question mark. So that means there's something to be, there's a door here that won't open, so there's something to be learned about from here. 
Alright, we've got this interesting rock structure surrounding... Ooh, another question mark. Hmm. Alright. Oh, man. There's a lot to this. Ooh, we found something here in the middle. It's kind of glowing and important looking. Left button. So what have we done here? This has given us kind of a glowing light to walk with, I guess. That will definitely be useful later down the road. Well, now that we've literally crossed all the corners of this upper area, I guess it's time to double back down. Oh, here we go. There's some more stairs. I know, I just... I, the explorer in me wants to check out all the corners. You never know. You just... you never know what you're gonna find. Granted, that can be tedious. Uh, we'll go up this way for a little bit, see what we find up here. Oh, this is like from that from the cover work. What are we about to go into? Ooh. So far, so good. Some wet underground marshes. Hold the left button. Ooh, we can use it like a light, like a, ooh, a flashlight. Oh! That's gonna show things in the dark. Yeah, buddy. Okay, it's not letting me look, so I guess I'll just shine the light on there a little bit longer. Aha! We have unlocked ourselves a doorway. Not bad, not bad. Here we go. Where is this going to take us? Deeper below, I guess. Anyone? No? Anyone? Too on the nose, perhaps. Oh, we can climb straight down. Or, oh, I guess, yeah, we kind of have to. Yep, that's broken path. Some avalanche boulders in the way. I, d I really do like the look of this game. It's really cool. It's very different. Um, you know, from my... My usual list of titles. It's got the top-down view, a lot of artistic details. I like it a lot. So another fire that we could possibly stoke. Not bad. Okay. It's kind of like a crafting place. All right. Oh, oh, oh that path, that looks like a path up there, but I guess that doesn't go anywhere. Let's trail on further down and see where that leads us. Oh dear. Oh, this is like literally the fog of war. Oh! Yes, I know. I, I realize I'm passing through it like a... <laughs> like a tripwire. <laughs> let's see what the sword... Let's see what the sword gives us. Okay, let's not letting it... It's not something we can cut. Uh, what about our torch? No. 
Oh, I can cut grass. I, you know, I can't believe I didn't try that. Legend of Zelda, anyone? Man, what is wrong with me? Yeah, let's put that away for now. I mean, look at this. Oops, that was a waste of a bow. I can cut grass! I'm a grass cutting ninja! I can't believe I didn't try that. Oh, there's my reflection. Oh, that music's a little creepy. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll stop, guys. I, uh, I was just kind of getting hooked on that whole grass cutting deal. I lit up that that spot. I, I'm just kind of being bold and just kind of run and see what happens. I actually tripped over that. <laughs> Nicely done. Makes me think that this goes somewhere, this little middle piece, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's head on down this way and see what we can find. Ooh, what's down here? Rope. Rope. We always need some rope. It's kind of like the Fog of War in an RTS game. But it's still, it's very, a lot, it's really cool. Artistic flow. I guess. All right, a creature. Don't know if it was innocent or not. It really didn't attack me, so I, you know, my bad. There's kind of like a weird three-dimensional depth here that I'm just saying, you know, trying to figure out if there's something over here I can go to. I guess not. Moving on. I feel like I'm getting deeper and deeper. Oh, that shows our progress here. We're on a third, third tier down. I'm just kind of going for it, guys. I'm not entirely sure what I walked into just now. Okay, there's a chest here. Four arrows. Some food. Not sure. More arrows. More arrows. Lots of arrows. That was a good find. I am not sure about this, guys. Oh! I'm breaking my glass. There's quite a few of them here. My health is dangerously low. I 
I gotta figure out what to do about that. <clears throat> Guys, I'm gonna have to stop here for now. Um, so far, I'm having a lot of fun exploring and walking around in this environment. We've come across a few creatures. I'm gonna take a deeper look at this game for sure um, and kind of see where the challenges lie. Guys, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Do are is this a game you guys have been waiting for for as long as it's been being developed? It was it was announced in uh back at 2013 E3. So, yeah, it's been a little time. Um anyway, it it looks gorgeous. It's beautiful, great soundscape. I'm going to explore this further, guys. But that's going to be it for now. As always, nerds, I'll see you on the other side.